I'm Sarah Grattan. I represent the Manly Ward, the Northern Beaches Council, a current councillor and proud member of the All Northern Beaches Independent Team. I've been given some questions here to answer today and the first one is what are two strengths that you will bring to council? I think firstly it comes from my professional background. I'm the Chief Operating Officer of UNICEF Australia and I make sure that the numbers add up and I'm part of the Audit and Risk Improvement Committee of Council, so it, it's been a, a very important role making sure that uh, everything is being managed very appropriately. I think there's a really big learning curve with Council. When you first arrive at Council, you've got to learn about planning laws and waste management and all sorts of things that you've never thought about or heard about before. Secondly, there's is all of the meeting processes and protocols. It was like another world walking into that meeting for the first time. Uh, I'm still not quite sure about how to do points of order, but uh, everyone's there around willing to help you. I know that Councillor Philpott and I sit together and are always prodding each other about sitting in bed in the morning, reading the paper with a cup of tea and, and doing that in bed rather than on the bus on the way to work. The first thing that I'm most proud of was fixing the toilet. The first motion that I put to, to council back in 2017 was to fix those toilets and upgrades and also the cleanliness. And since 2018, we have upgraded or built new toilets, 14 new toilets in, in Manly Ward. All public toilets are now clean every day and there are 83,000 cleans of public toilets in, in a year. Second achievement is my work with uh, transport and traffic. So I'm the chair of the transport and traffic strategic reference group of council. But probably most importantly has been the advocacy on the Beaches Link Tunnel. So this is the biggest infrastructure project that is coming down the pipe at us. And I've been instrumental in shifting some of the council's position from unqualified support to support subject to, to minimising the impact on the local community, on the environment and heritage. 